Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to episode 4 of Q&A Sunday. Hashtag Ask IKC. It's about to go down today. I got a lot of questions on my phone and I got a couple voicemails for you guys. We're about to hop into it, but I just wanted to say thank you to everybody that has been egging me on and pushing me to newer heights. Check it out. We just started the Stat Sheet Stuffer series. That video is out now. Go ahead, go to my uploads, check out my latest video before this one. Um, I'm asking all subscribers to leave their vote on what my my player should look like. Just go ahead and watch the video and you guys will understand everything. We are also about to start the NBA Finals with David iPod King Carter. It's about to get insane with that dude. As well as Battlefield Hardline is about to drop. Like It's literally like about to hoop out of somebody's pants and right into my lap. I'm about to be playing Battlefield Hardline with face cam. Not sure if I'm going to be doing offline, but I know I'm going to be online all day, every day. Also, we got more GTA heists, man. More GTA heists. I promise respect. It's going to go down. I want to thank everybody for the likes, the favorites, the retweets, the everything. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, the love. Thank you for the love. Let's get into this video. All right, so the first question comes from Jermaine Robinson. He wants to know if I'm going to make t-shirts as well as I should listen to Montana of 300 and can I add him on PSN? Well, this is what we're going to do. Yes, I already do have t-shirts out. The link is inside the about section. If you are on mobile, just go to ipodkingcarter.spreadshirt.com and you can check out my t-shirts, phone cases, all different kinds of cool swag. Now, as far as it goes for Montana, I will be downloading a mixtape or a mixtape with his songs on it soon because I've been listening to a lot of his music during my streams and I will have to say, dude is pretty nice. And as for adding you on PSN, go ahead and check your friend request right now. All right, so Alton Moore wants to know how hard is it to juggle personal life and YouTube? I will have to say that it's very, very tiring and exhausting but I get the job done because of my girl. My girl handles all of my scheduling, such as when I need to go to work, what days I need off, when I gotta fly out to conventions, days when new games drop, she'll give me like three days to the week off, all different kinds of things. She works with me as well as handling my schedule for family time. Family time is very important to me. Usually on Saturdays, we like to go out to eat, uh, maybe go to Chuck E. Cheese, or you know, if we got the whole day plus Sunday off, you know we might fly out somewhere you know to a destination because we both fly free so you know and our kids fly free so it's pretty fun but uh yeah it's pretty exhausting you know especially when i have to play multiple games upload multiple series and still try to have fun playing games that i like very exhausting you see these bags under my eyes they're not there for no reason trust me all right we have a pretty weird question here jay york wants to know what kind of deodorant do i use i will have to answer that with i use all dove products i use dove soap dove lotion and dove deodorant um all for men my girl uses the girl version i guess and sometimes i will say we do mix up in deodorant sometimes it's not my fault I, I get dressed with the lights off so don't judge me okay 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 we finally got a question of substance here Gar Kenny wants to know who would I pick for my five at the park out of YouTubers. Okay, now just let's say this is something that could actually happen. Everybody's the same affiliation and we can go to the wreck and snap out. My number two would probably have to be D-Man. My number three would have to be Stax Montana. My number four would have to be QJB. And my number five would probably have to be Spade. Yeah, I think I think I think that that'd be a nice lineup. Now I know a lot of people are probably thinking, well, why wouldn't you want to use K Spade shooting guard for your lineup? Because there's not many YouTubers out there that's using big men, and I've seen Spade's videos, and his big man be putting in work. So you know, I, I would use that. I would use D Man, Cam, Q, aka Bridges, and then uh Spade. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would definitely do that. You know what I'm saying? That that'd be a nice lineup. We might have to work that out next time. Mm, never know all right Devin Washington wants to know what are my children's names and how old are they okay um I hope that you're not a stalker first off 
uh first name david first name deja boy girl six one did i did i did i answer that right you know what i'm saying we got david that's six we have deja that's one Okay, we have a fellow Eagles fan here. Lean Frazier 5 wants to know my thoughts on a DeMarco Murray pickup. I will have to say that that is a good pickup, seeing as though, you know, it's another power back in the NFL. But I think that we gave up a lot of weapons without any direction from Chip Kelly. And DeMarco Murray seems like it's a nice pickup, seeing as though we have Sproles and now we have that other power back that I think he got like a thousand yards in two seasons. Don't really know his name like that. Me, he was, I heard he was fumble prone and he was injury prone. So, you know, I tend to not worry about guys like that. But DeMarco Murray, I like the pickup, you know. But being a Dallas Cowboy hater, man, it's going to be hard to, you know, adjust to that man in green. I'm, I'm saying we bleed green. And I know he bleed green too because of the money, but it just don't add up right. I don't know. It's going to take me time to get used to him, but I do like the pickup. You know what I'm saying? We gave up somebody great, but we got somebody great in return. Okay, so Carry On Gamer wants to know if my girl is a gamer or if she plays video games at all. I can answer that very quickly. She has a Wii and a Wii U that collects dust. The only game I ever see this girl play is a slots game on her phone. But I have to check her monthly activity just to make sure she doesn't spend real life money on this virtual currency nonsense. But she ain't no gamer though. Okay, so Il Molino wants to know what's a normal day in the life of iPod. I would have to say a regular day in the life would be me waking up four o'clock in the morning, making sure that my girl gets to work on time, then waking up again at 6.30 to make sure that my son gets to school on time, then I probably stay up until my daughter goes to sleep and takes her nap. I may work, you know, edit a couple videos, commentate a couple videos, or I may take a nap with her. Then time to go pick up Dave from school. Once I get home, I probably dabble a little bit, you know, try to edit or try to get some business done via emails and Skype. Then off to the gym. After I get home from the gym, dinner's waiting on my table. Uh, it might be Monday night, you know, during the weekdays, we watch our shows and stuff like that. So me and my girl will be hugged up, loving hip hop or whatever. Once those shows go off, I come over to the man cave, edit, commentate, play video games. And then I probably go to sleep around 1 a.m. to 2 a.m. and do it all again until it's time for me to actually go to work. When I go to work, same thing. Wake up early in the morning, but I'm at work for most of the day. But then when I get home, same thing. Get home, edit maybe do a little business things, hit the gym, then come home to a nice home cooked meal. Other than that, it's regular, regular life for me, man. Life of a gamer. All right, so Trent Jackson 18 is actually telling me what to do instead of asking a question. He's letting me know that I should upload more of my live streams to YouTube. Now, the great thing about that is you can kind of double dip, whereas though, you know, you might not have nothing up for that day. You say, oh, I got to give them something. I got to give you guys something. And maybe they didn't come past the stream. So you upload something from the stream to YouTube. But in my case, lately, I've been doing a lot of song requests and I've been playing a lot of copywritten music. That's why I haven't uploaded all of my GTA heists because boy oh boy all throughout those heists i'm playing copyrighted music so i can't upload it to youtube but in the near future i will do something like a streaming game stream a game and then upload it to youtube consistently probably battlefield hardline because i want to play with the face cam but other than that the games that i play man we have a lot of fun in my streams man it's really hard for me to concentrate and make that into a video because i wouldn't be able to talk to the chat like i usually do i wouldn't be able to run song requests you know it, it's just a lot that you can't do when you want to make it a youtube video youtube videos are very different from streaming streaming is live you get the full effect everything one-on-one -on -one, you know just talking to the fans but in youtube video you have to be in character you have to commentate you have to edit you have to be precise you know it's a, it's a different science man so you know it's going to be hard for me to actually do that with the games that i play online <laughs> Okay, so Kid Breezy wants to know who is the funniest person I've ever played online with while gaming. Okay, I will have to say that would be X Chase Money. 
this freaking dude is outlandish something is wrong with him something is clearly wrong with this man i promise you if you played online with x chase money you literally would i mean have milk juice water all coming running out your nose all over your keyboard all over your controller that's how funny this man is when you playing with him online i promise to god man chase is hilarious This is Pono King Carter. I want to know why are you famous? Why are you Kevin Durant? Hey, 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 I love you. Oh, man. Uh, that right there was my son, Polo King Carter. I love that little guy, man. Um, He wants to know <laughs> why am I famous and why am I Kevin Durant's friend? Okay, so the whole famous thing, I don't consider myself famous, but I've actually put myself in a position where I have been able to be seen by many people online. You know, some people might call it online famous, YouTube famous, things like that, but I don't consider myself that. I just consider myself having fun, playing video games, and supporting my family. Now, as it goes for the Kevin Durant thing, son, I know you're going to be watching this video. We know that you love Kevin Durant. You are a Kevin Durant fiend. Thunderstruck, you watch that movie every day faithfully like it's a religion. Your room, a Kevin Durant fathead is what you wanted. You want Kevin Durant sheets. You want Oklahoma City Thunder this, that, and the third. But I'm going to just let you know now. You're going to be a Sixers fan until the day you die, boy. Do you hear me? This is your father talking. you going to be a 76ers fan until the day you die. I don't care what you say. All right, but Kevin Durant, friend, son, I'm actually not Kevin Durant's friend. I've met Kevin Durant, done a commercial with him, talked to him, talked to him about you and your crazy self. But as, as it goes for being Kevin Durant's friend, I'm not, son. I'm a fan, just like you. We're fans together. I love you, son. Yo, IKC, this is your boy Jay from New York. Got a question for you. How you think you're standing in the playoffs? You think you're going to be able to win? I don't know, man, but give a shout-out back. Peace. <laughs> okay, so uh, this guy wants to know how I'm going to fare in the playoffs. Um, I'm hoping that he's talking about NBA 2K because my Sixers ain't going nowhere in real life. So as it goes for, you know, winning in the playoffs, we have Kevin Durant and the Oklahoma City Thunder, surprisingly, in the NBA Finals. And I've played game one already. And it didn't look good for me, guys. It was an ugly game. Kevin Durant and Westbrook combined probably like 70 points. It was just, it was just ugly, man. It was just it was terrible. It was terrible. But that video will be out soon. I think I'm gonna beat him, man. I, I think I'm gonna beat him. I'm nice like that. I'm nice like that. I'm just saying I'm nice like that. You're you are KC. I just had a question. What do you? What game do you think kicked off your YouTube career? All right, thanks for listening. Peace. All right, so this person asked, what game popped off my YouTube career? I would have to say some of my first videos, bro. If you go to my channel, you check out my playlist, you will see the first playlist I've ever created was NBA 2K11 My Career. That's what kicked off my, my actual channel, my... I think one of my first videos had a hundred thousand views it was like uh me filming with my phone the shoe endorsement and ever since then i've been real adamant on getting the shoe endorsement because that's like a trait of mine to get so yeah nba 2k11 my career what's your favorite color and why okay so this guy asked what's my favorite color and why well i would have to say my favorite generic color is blue my favorite color of blue will have to be royal blue. I love royal blue. I love the way it looks. It's just, it's, it's, an, it's an awesome color. Uh, and the reason why it's my favorite color is because when I was growing up, when my mom first gave me my own room, she painted my walls three different kinds of blues. She painted it navy blue, royal blue, and powder blue on three walls. And one wall was white. 
So the wall that was white was the wall with the uh, window, and all the rest of the walls was just different colors of blue. So it was like I was all blue everything. So you know, blue was just my favorite color like that. When the Blue Ranger first came out, I wanted to be the Blue Ranger. Anything that was blue, the Sixers blue, everything. I was just I was just a blue fanatic, man. Blue has been my favorite color for a long time. I can't even, I can't even remember how far back I became a fan of blue. Like it's just it's just been like that forever. <laughs> Hey, iPod, I was just wondering, out of, out of the last five 2Ks, which one was the worst that you played so far? All right, thanks for answering. Peace. Oh, wow. Um, darn. You know what's funny? To think about it, he said out of the last five 2Ks. So you would have to go with 15, 14, 13, 12, and 11. 11, we can scratch that right off the list. That was the best 2K I've ever played. 2K12 wasn't that bad. NBA 2K13, on the other hand, was terrible. Then NBA 2K14 came out. And we called that NBA 2K13 2.0 because everything that needed to be fixed in 2K13 was in 2K14. And then next gen came out 2k 14 next gen was uh, okay and 2k 15 has been somewhat of a blast but still has been having minor glitches and everything like that but hands down the worst nba 2k 13 i've ever played in the last five years has to be nba 2k 13 it has to be there's no doubt about it man 2k 13 was terrible it, oh my god man you just had to worry about so much it was like this if you played on hall of fame and you know you had to win you just had to keep going in for contact dunks all game you couldn't shoot shots weren't going in animation cheese layup cheese oh my god zigzag cheese. all that's i think the cheese era began with NBA 2K13, you know, NBA 2K11, it was like mods, you know, a lot of people was like, yo, you modding your dude, you know what I'm saying, getting 99, everything, making them all tall and everything like that, but nobody really worried about cheese except for like the pump fake glitch, but at that point in time, we used to call those things glitches because it wasn't like pump fake cheese, it was pump fake glitch, and you know, the person just... Yeah, it, you know, just just like got my neck hurt. I, I think I just caught whiplash. I'm just saying. Hey, I just want to thank everybody for coming out and listen to the Q&A Sunday today, man. Oh, my God. I'm going to see you guys next week. But I want to thank everybody again for the love, showing me love with likes, favorites, retweets, comments, all different kinds of things. Remember, even like the prompt set on the screen, you want to be a part of this series, Leave a comment below in the comment section. If you have Twitter, you can ask me a question over Twitter using the hashtag AskIKC. Or you can call my phone number, which is inside the About section right now. So yeah, if you want to call me, leave me a voicemail. Phone number's down there. Make sure you hit that like button while you're down there. Spam it. Listen, this is what I need everybody to do. Spam the like button right now. Whoever likes my video and I see it over Twitter or anything like that, I'm going to give you a like. And a retweet. How much y'all bet? Y'all, y'all really want to bet me on this? Y'all, y'all really want to bet me on this? How many people want to bet me? Bet me. Bet me. Look into my eyes and tell me I'm a liar. I ain't no liar. <laughs>